What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be reading The Road to Civil War. The new Avengers Illuminati. So this team consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, six people. So you have Iron Man, Mr. Fantastic, Doctor Strange, Namor. Black Bolt. So, I don't really know anything about this. So, we're going to be reading this. This is my first time reading this. I've been reading a lot of Marvel comics because, you know, about to have a lot of Disney Plus series coming soon. Actually, it's like sooner than I thought because like, on the first day of 2020, like, I woke up and they like just dropped news that they were pushing back WandaVision to 2020 with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, I got excited. So, we are going to be reading about the new Avengers of Illuminati. So, let's, let's just freaking dive right in. So, it starts off in Wakanda, Africa, many years ago. And there's somebody saying, honored guest of the great kingdom of Wakanda, Iron Man. Avenger of the Great America, American State of New York, Dr. Stephen Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts, Professor Charles Xavier of the Xavier School for Gifted Youngster, Youngsters, Dr. Reed Richards of the World Famous Fantastic Four, Keeper of the Turrican Mist, the Inhuman King, Black Bolt, and Prince Namor, of the great underwater city of Atlantis. Black Panther says, it is the House of Wakanda's honor to introduce to you, King, well, one of his, uh, his guards saying, it is the House of Wakanda's honor to introduce to you, King T'Challa, the Black Panther. Never been to Wakanda before, T'Challa. This is just, it's just beautiful. Doctor Strange, you may stay as long as you like. In fact, some of our high priests were hoping to break bread with you privately. Um, well, that would be lovely. And thank you, T'Challa, for hosting this. And for the life of me, I can't imagine what such a gathering is for. I'm dying to hear. Please take the room. Well, I wanted to discuss what almost happened to us this week. This planet was almost decimated in an interplanetary battle between two warrior races. The Kree and the Skrull armies used Earth as a battleground in their centuries old war. And I think I think it might have been our fault. The Kree Skrull War is our is our fault. Well, we know all the players, we knew what they were capable of, we knew these alien races have been at war with each other forever and we know that the key that key members of both races had set up shop right here on planet earth of course it will come to a head of course so how is it our fault i wonder if we had a more unified structure amongst ourselves i wonder if they would have thought twice about attacking this planet like they did we rule. If the Earth is attacked again, when the Earth is attacked again, we're the ones who will defend it. There is no one else. No army is ready. So the rest of the universe will the law. So, so, so the rest of the universe will the law enforcement of the planet. I'm saying, maybe we should gather together do just that. Again, we who? The heroes, us, all of us, the X-Men, the Avengers, the Inhumans, the Fantastic Four, everyone else, we should gather. We should make our own de delegation. Instead of these little factions of heroes and mutants we've con concorded running around doing the best they can, maybe we could pull all 
of our resources and all of our information and do it right. No. Well, thanks for thinking about it, Namor. You can't even control the groups you're already in. How on earth could you hope to control them as a large body? That's what we're here to discuss. No. Though Namor, Namor always finds the rudest way to say it, he may be right. It's too big. It's too hard to decide who will be in this collation. Collision? Who decides who's in it? Who runs it? Who would it? Answer to it. I agree. Look at how much the UN actually gets done versus how much the time they spend just running the UN. The best superheroes in the world will be spending all their time with them with bureaucracy. I don't see it. I think, if I may, the scrolls tried to turn the public from a few, and they, they came close. It's a new feeling for you, that kind of animosity. Am I right? Well, yes. As mutants, we feel what you're feeling right now, every day, all day. I know exactly how you feel. And you want to turn that feeling into something, something positive, and that's noble. But this idea, but don't you, don't you see? A unified grouping of heroes that included mutants could smash down barriers and still trust in mutants all around the world. We could champion your cause and at the same time, it would do the opposite. They would lump us in with the mutants and have an excuse to hate us all. No offense, Professor. No. And as it is, most heroes, not you or the Fantastic Four, but most heroes like Spider-Man, Daredevil, they are rebels, counterculture. We're not anti-establishment, anti but we're not establishment. We're not counter, we're counter-establishment. I think it's worth a try, it's worth discussing. We can make the world better than it is. We can do more than what we're doing. I want to do more. You're a fool, and here's why. How many convicted criminals pose ex mutant terrorists you have on the Avengers right now? The Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, Hawkeye, who else? How many questionable characters have you had? on the team all together. Exactly, how do you screen these mutant students do you take in at your school, Xavier? I hear rumors of a mutant assassin working for the mutant secret services. Would you allow him on your team? Wasn't Black Bolt's brother an arch architect of the Kree invasion of Earth? Isn't that what we've heard? Have you killed this man for this for his crimes or is he in your castle right now? And you want to shine a spotlight on all of this. You think you can put these people up as role models and delegates for the entire planet Earth? This is completely deluded. Um, you are right about one thing, Ernie. The information. We all had pieces of information. Little pieces of the Kree scroll situation before it escalated. We could have dealt with this sooner had we met. A meaning just like this could have saved a lot of people's lives. So we meet privately like this, for the big things. I could see myself trusting the people in this room, but no one can know we do this. I don't trust your so-called, yes, we get it. You don't trust your teammates, you understand. No family. No wives. No one. One of you. You. Sh one of us. One of you shared a secret of my Atlantis that came back to me, harm anyone in my kingdom, and hell I would bring to the surface world. Why are you always ready to attack us? You team with Magneto when it suits you, but you can't have a civil conversation. Civil conversation with us without threatening. It's not a threat. It's not appropriate to the conversation anymore. This is bigger than us. If the Kree 
or scroll empires take this planet, they take you too. The only reason they didn't win this time had sheer luck. You didn't beat them. You just stopped it. For how long? Who knows? But a child with a fifth grade history book could figure out that it's going to happen again. And we're the only ones who have any chance of doing anything about it. So stop puffing your chest and contribute to this conversation. So we be on the honor system? Well, no. We have Charles Xavier. You can't hide from the most powerful psychic on the planet. He knows they won't perpetrate us, right? I'm not comfortable with that. That's not what I do. But it is. It will have to be unanimous. Those in favor? Everybody raises their hand in the room and contribute to this conversation. T'Challa, I'm telling you now, end this. Walk away from this table and go home. Wow, T'Challa. There is a reason the scrolls had such an easy time trying to turn the world against the heroes. Because deep down, everyone knows that this could have could have now it has. You just decided all by yourselves that you are the Earth's protectors. And that you, and only you, not your teammates or family, are trustworthy enough to include in the process. What happens when you disagree? When one of these Earth-changing moments finds you all at odds with each other, in a secret meaning. What happens then? Walk away now. Well, I actually think it's one of the best ideas I've ever heard. I'll talk to him. If it doesn't work, we do walk away. Blackpoke, if you need, I know if you speak out loud, you can bring this entire country down around your ears. Can you read his thoughts, Professor? I'd like to hear what he's thinking. He says his people, the inhumans, do need the connection to the outside world who trust no government. This is the perfect this is perfect for him as he figures out what the next step is for his people. So he agreed. And next we meet anything discussed here stays here. I really leave my house as it is. Anything else we want to talk about now before the childish guard have us removed? Actually, Dr. Tom Van I'm in South Pacific. It's called Krakoa. Las Vegas, Nevada, one month ago. Hulk smash! Shield helicarrier 100 feet over. Okay, we're gonna stop it right here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm loving this. They're just in the freaking circle, con conversing like, like heroes do, you know? When it's a serious situation, all the heroes just gather around in one table and they just have a conversation about what they should do. But this, in this hand, this is called the Illuminati. So you have Iron Man, Professor X, Neymar, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, like Black Bolt. You got all these superheroes that's gonna form this one team away from their original teams like the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the Avengers. You know, I'm loving this. So, we're gonna stop it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Holla, your boy. Deuces.